Okay, let's look at a couple of different ways to initialize variables. Uh, the first is what I would call the traditional way. Uh, so we have here int length, uh, and we have an initializer equal, so almost an assignment statement, 5. Okay, and then we have the width uh, equal to 4, and we went ahead and initialized area equal to 0 uh, just to prevent uh, any problems in case we, we didn't actually assign the area. Uh, it might be easier to troubleshoot. Um, so let's go ahead and run this as it is and we'll see how that operates and we get what we expect for our length of 5 and width of 4 uh, the area is 20 okay um, so just to give you an idea let me comment out the, the area calculation uh, and we'll run this one more time uh, just to see an error um, in this and so it's a little bit easier for here if we have uh, for 5 and 4, the area is 0. That gives us an indicator there, there's a problem uh, as opposed uh, to if we, if we didn't uh, initialize the area and we just execute it that way, um, we'll get something weird, right? So we're just getting some random thing out of wherever uh, the memory space we, we declared area for. So uh, we want to avoid that. So we'll try that 0 initialization. Uh, and we'll go ahead and uncomment that so we're getting our calculation. Okay, so that's one way to initialize them. Another very similar way to use parentheses for an, uh, initialization. Uh, so if we go up here and uh, put braces around um, each of the uh, initializations, uh, each of the constants we're initializing it to, uh, we get uh, a little bit different look, but essentially the same result um, for these. So let's go ahead and run that. And you'll see essentially it, it, it compiles and runs and we get essentially the same result. Uh, one last way to initialize this uh, would be to change uh, all of these parentheses uh, to braces called brace initialization. Okay, so let's, let's change those real quick. And so we'll put braces in, instead of uh, parentheses. Uh, and this came about with C++ uh, standard 11. Uh, we'll execute that just to show uh, it essentially does the same thing. Um, so one difference between the two, um, if we go in and do this uh, um, sort of an error here, we, we're going to put 5.5 and notice we declared an integer. So this is where the braces come in handy and the new standard uh, or the newer standard um, this narrowing conversion uh, is not really allowed so if we try to compile this um, it should come back and give us an error there saying hey you're you're taking a floating point number and trying to store it in an integer or initialize an integer with that uh, which potentially is a mistake okay so in the new standard they want you to explicitly convert that um, whereas the old one uh, you could potentially make that mistake. So let's convert that one uh, back to the old way and I'll, I'll put the old equals back um, and we'll, we'll try it with uh, just that one variable since we put 5.5 there with the equal sign uh, what it will do is actually let that happen so with no with no compiler error uh, it will let you potentially make that mistake if you didn't intend to uh, chop off the, the 0.5 part for 5.5. So notice for a length of 5, it chopped off the 5.5 because we, we took a floating point uh, constant and we assigned it to an integer which can't hold the floating point part. Uh, so it narrows it down to 5. So we get the whole 5, 4, and 20. Um, but notice no error doesn't warn us. Uh, whereas when we had uh, the braces there, uh, it's saying normally you don't want to do that, right? So we, we may be doing something in error. Maybe we meant to have a floating point, so this should be float instead. Um, so if we, if we do float here instead of uh, that, um, should be fine uh, because uh, it, it can handle that. But if we put it back for integer, uh, this is obviously not an integer. Um, so 
the recommendation is to use brace initial, initialization uh, for everything because it, it will help you catch uh, maybe some of these typos or, or for whatever other reason we make this type of mistake. So hopefully this helps you in the future and you'll probably also see if you're looking at old documentation um, those three different forms of initial, initialization. So uh, as you're trying to write your code and you see uh, different sources do it different ways, hopefully now you uh, at least have that part from uh, all, all three methods uh, of initialization.